a possible solution to solve curvature continuity. So in this example here, we, we have only, we don't even have positional here. So if I choose pick nothing, it's red. Um, let's do a little bit of, of cleaning here. I turn off some of the objects that I don't really need. So canvases, and what do, more do we have here? Maybe we just need a couple of surfaces. So let's pick this surface here and maybe the smaller one inside there and just throw them into a work layer. Right click assign and now we could turn off some more things there. So right now we still have some objects here so probably in the default layer so let's just pick that one and maybe we have a surface here I feel it and just throw them in somewhere. So right now we have the projected curves and two surfaces. And when these kind of problems occur, one thing to check if you have an important curve, what about the CV layout? What about the other things that we usually check? So if we look at this one first here, the CV layout, and we could hide everything else, hide unselected. Uh, it looks nice, decent. So there is like a flow here, but look at the degree. It's a nine degree. That's kind of a heavy mathematical expression here. So that is something that caught my interest. Uh, let's see what the curvature fence look like. So I turn on the curvature fence middle drag to add in some some more measuring points and this one is very nice so not much to do here but I'm curious about the degree there so let's say we take this one and bring it down to a five degree uh, we have less CVs so in this case we, we need to match the old curve so maybe we could uh, cancel this one and just yes, say pick object, control C, control V, and then I will pick the, the, the original curve, number five, and then I will say let's bring it down to a five. And this is now eyeballing this. We could have used a tool called fit curve also that you could find under curve edit. It looks like this, so fit curve could also have done it. But this is a simple assignment here, so let's just work with this manually. So what I'm doing here is just grabbing the CVs here and trying to have some kind of flow here and kind of approximately match the original curve. So, so looking at the curvature fence, looking at the CV layout. So here we're coming closer and closer to each other. Okay, we come up here. Yeah, I think that is kind of all right. So let's see what, what that kind of curve. So we have a slight difference here in shape. Maybe we should have uh, brought this shift click, brought them a little bit closer here. So something like that so now it's it's not that far away from from the original curve okay but the difference is with the degree here so we don't have a nine degree anymore which is of course possible but they could also possibly be a problem so so what we've done now is that we have changed the original curve there bring back the, the other things so visible. Uh, what about the smaller one here? Or do we really need a smaller one? Maybe we dare to, to make a new one that is a little bit bigger. So maybe we could just throw away this one. We, we could examine it first. So it's a seven degree in four pieces. So I, so I will take away that curve and make a new one. And the new one will actually I will take this big one here and just control C, control V. And maybe we 
should check here if it's twisting a little bit. So it shouldn't matter, but why not just have them flat here? So let's move these a little bit closer. You could move this one as well. So if you look from a side view, you can see that it's going all over the place here. So I will just pick uh, pick the CVs here and, and flatten them. So I just go for move all CVs and just alt grid snap and move with middle mouse. So I get a flat curve there. So I have that there in the middle and I will do the same with the copy here. So move all CVs, grid snap and then I move it in there. So and I will scale this down a little bit. And I will, we have the pivot point that everything is scaling around. So let's position that a little bit better. So I go for transform and I go for center pivot and look at the pivot point now. So it jumped in somewhere in the middle there. And now I will choose to transform. So I just go for the ordinary move CV, sorry, pivot point and just drag it. So don't touch it, just go sideways. And we could see here that we need to go in X, so I position it somewhere there because I was thinking about using this non-proportional. So we just shrink this a little bit that way and a little bit in that way, that direction. And now suddenly we, we have a smaller curve. Okay, I uh, hope it goes over the edge there. And it seems not, so maybe we could move the whole thing a little bit like that. Okay, so let's take this and bring it onto the small surface. And to do that, we need to untrim this piece here. So I go for untrim. And we go for pick carbon surface and make a, oops, not too big, but a quite big frame there to get rid of all the old carbon surfaces. And now I will take this curve and project it in Y direction on that surface. Yes, and then yes. Okay, so now we have the curve there. So let's trim again. So it's easy to see. Actually, we don't need to trim, but it's easier to see what's going on. Okay, so let's see what happens now. So the only thing we have done here is actually to reproject new curves. That's it. Uh, so let's try, for instance, with square, curvature everywhere. And we could start without rebuild. We could actually reset this if you have changed a lot of stuff here. So you could just reset and everything goes to normal. And then when we go for this, we have a surface. And instantly when you see double isoparms, you should think, hmm, rebuild. So maybe number two or number four needs to be rebuilt to match the opposite. So let's say I go for number two. Let's see if I go for number four, turn that off. Mm. So I'm just looking at the fewest amount of isoparms possible. So that looks kind of nice. But we would like to have curvature everywhere. So let's turn on curvature everywhere. And it says failed down here. So what we could do here is try a little bit more of the rebuild here. That did not help. So let's work a little bit with the, the blend here. So uh, between one and three, that is these edges here, that, sh that should not matter that much. But in this direction, two, four, uh, it could help. So let's see what happens if we make this down here a little bit stronger. So and there we have curvature, but it's kind of a very rapid. Maybe we could expand that a little bit. And there we have curvature, maybe we could expand it a little bit too. So just working a little bit with the values here, maybe we could key in the values instead. So 0 0.4. Oh, so 0 0.3, 
0 0.35. So we can make this a little bit stronger, but not, not, not much, but something like that. And of course, number two here also have an influence. But with the rail, sorry, with the square tool, this is a possible solution.